unfortunate. But sometimes that's just how it is when you have super strong players. You know, sometimes even we see them commentators where they enter a tournament and this they get really far. And because of that, sometimes they're not able to actually not even be able to, uh, like, Make continue sure either commentating top eight like yeah, or playing in a bracket. It's definitely a good problem to have. But, yeah, Everyone I mean, you enter so many tournaments here at Genesis. I, I think we're good. I think we're good. I gave them the thumbs up. I don't really have the authority to do that, but I did it. Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> let's go, dude. Let's go, baby. We're itching for some ultimate. All righty. Now they're going right into it. We got Roy, Ike, Inkling, Wario. I love how different every single team composition has been so far in this top eight. I think we're just going to see, because it's so early in the game, we're just going to see all sorts of team comps. Yeah, when it comes to this game, one thing I really love is just the character the, the variety, right? Oh, yeah. So many sick characters that are being represented here. And, and the opportunity to see a lot of them cover over each other's different mix, uh, uh, mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like the weakness being covered by, by your uh, ally is going to have so much more potential in a game like Ultimate. I think what's really interesting right now uh, when it comes to this particular team's match is seeing the likes of Tweak and Cosmos together versus MKL and Cosmos. Here it is, though. Yeah. A lot of swords happening right now. Inkling losing the first stock. A little bit earlier than everyone else. Smart right now. Ooh. You saw all that buildup, getting that ink. If you fully ink up your opponent, you have a 1.5 damage multiplier. You know how much damage that is, dude? 1.5 times. Yeah, 1.5 times. That's, That's crazy. Lot. Oh my god. And then he comboed it right into Wario. I like that. Good team synergy so far. Evening up the stocks here in this game one. Oh, you see how Roy was ready for Ike's back throw of there? Of course. Super yeah. good. You know, whenever it comes to these particular guys, they're just so good at teams. They have an amazing chemistry. When it came to Smash 4, we've seen that before by MKLA and Javi. Before. Uh -huh. Okay, the chains right now from Tweak again. Yeah. Look at, um, you know, Tweak looking like one of those players who a lot of people are putting their chips on as far as getting the W for its, uh, singles. But when it's teams, it's a totally different ball game. For sure, for sure. He still gets like his two three-piece combos before he's stopped. So it's still quite a bit of damage. And especially when he has the waft on deck, you got to watch out for Tweet. Yeah, actually, you know, the moment we see like about a minute is going, shaving off the clock. Yeah. That's when you have to be careful. Yeah. Because that waft, it's such a good tool. I like that right there. MK Leo showing us a little bit that he understands how to deal with Wario's pressure. Yeah. Shielding that forward air, shielding the cross up neutral air, getting that pair in the last turret. Right. That shows, that's actually a tell for us going into singles. Things are gonna be different. Yeah, I think doubles is actually a good, uh, I, you get a good idea of what's gonna happen in singles, like you're saying. So seeing all these top players go at it, because you'll see like one-on-one -on -one situations. And it's kind of telling. Oh, he goes way out there for the neutral. It doesn't get the forward air though from Tweak's end. Yeah, and right there, it was a little tough. We saw Tweet try to see if he could get a follow-up, especially with that walk. Okay, he's on the chase. I like that by MKLeo, man. And those up air combos, uh, just those combos, period, with Ike, it makes it difficult as well to want to keep on engaging. It's a really good separator, in my opinion. Yeah, with the two sword characters, they can control a lot of space right now. And I like a good DI from Tweekend. Oh. Yeah, man, that F tilt, so strong right there by MKLeo's Ike. He's, again, Taking a lot of space. Yeah. Like, not making it easy here. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Waft still on deck here. Oh, and that up tilt from Ike will get the KO on Inkling. And it's now a two-on-one situation. Oh, where are you going? What is down there? Uh-oh, and you know, it's crazy. We were just talking about uh, this particular situation. Yeah. It's looking tough. Tweak, he does have a walk. He does, and he has a walk. Walk. Yep, with his Wario, it's crazy. You don't want to get caught. No, he's you don't. And he's trying to see if he can get his like up air confirmation, something to just pop the opponent up in the air. It's kind of so tough though, because the the uh, the uh, the opponents are gonna like break up as soon as you get like the neutral hit combo into the up air. So you can't really string too much together. His best hope is to like try to get an up tilt or up air onto Roy and then waft right away and then do the one on one situation with I. Yep, yep, yeah, just like you saw right there. He wanted to get a little bit of an extended combo, but it was too hard. Right. Yikes. Pretty solid uh, two-stock there. Very doable. For very, very solid two-stock right here. Crazy endurance test right here with these players, of course, on the stage. Oh, yeah. The swords just take up so much space, man. They just control a lot of the, the momentum of the, the way the game goes. All right, here it is. Genesis 6. 
round two, uh, 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 not round two, uh, we have Lucius Eights right here oh, with, yeah. again, Javi and MKLeo with the Fire Emblem combo ver versus Cosmos and Tweak. And we're going back to the same stage. Oh, yeah. Also, we're going to hear a lot of Gladion. Oh, yeah. So it's, uh, it's a, it's a common, common song that likes to come up quite a bit. Are you a fan? You so fan? here it is, guys. Game two of the Loser's Apes. Tweak and Cosmos versus MK, Leo, and Hobby. Oh, my I, God. I, so I used to really like Gladion, I'll be honest. Okay. But the thing is, Gladion, I heard it so much when I commentated uh, Super Splat Bros in NorCal at the okay. Esports Arena. And ever since then, this this song just started to eat away at my soul. Oh, man. Uh, um, imagine commentating Squad Battle for two hours. Okay. Top eight of Squad Battle. Actually, three hours because it actually lasted three hours. Damn. And listening to just Gladion for like maybe an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fair. That's all. The, the, the songs are sick. But because the players, of course, are way more focused on trying to get the W, yeah. of course they're not going to be, they don't care about the song. They can't even hear it. No, they Usually can't. They don't hear their, use their headsets. They're dialed in. They're dialed in, baby. But yeah. Everyone at approximately same same percentages right now. A lot of KO percent. Ooh. What thing, Ike will go down first. One thing that I like over here from this team is it's really showing the strength of using sword characters against the likes of Inkling and Wario. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're, they're, you know, Wario and Inkling are very strong characters, but just the walling out that we've been seeing from MK Leo and Javi has been making it very hard. For sure. For sure. I completely agree. Um, a lot of their sword moves just kind of outrange what, what Wario and Inkling can do. They might have the speed, but if you're doing, like, retreating neutral air as Ike, it's kind of difficult to contend with in a, in a team's game, especially. All right, here we have it. Cosmos looking like he just wants to be able to play, but M Killer is so good at being a hall monitor, literally yeah. telling Cosmos, "Aren't you supposed to be in class, dude?" <laughs> All right. Where's your hall pass? Where is your hall pass? Okay. All right, here it is. Oh, yeah. the, I like the movement from M K Leo with his, yeah. with his Ike. Very solid wave lands onto onto the platform to keep keep control. Just those combos too that we've been seeing. Yeah. I, I like, uh, you know, I love how when it, whenever you see him on the platform, he'll get that nair to the immediate nair. He doesn't, no, ain't nobody doesn't do, no one does it better than he does. Yeah. Oh, and the roller from all the way on the left side of the stage actually hitting its mark. Yep, and MKLeo making sure to capitalize on the fact that he got hit off the side. It's one of my, the most exciting things I love to see when it comes to teams too. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. Just seeing people, like two people fly off and one person actually get the, to actually capitalize on that interaction. For sure. Okay, but yeah, back to the match. So, MKLeo again. It looks like, yeah, his modus operandi is just to deal with Tweak. Not allow Tweak to get his extended combos. But Javi actually has been showing that he can definitely make it happen too. And there, there come the juggles, right? Yeah. The volleys we've been seeing from Javi and MKLeo ever since Smash 4 Wii U. Yeah, and it's very solid because they're in midst, like they're neutral in their one-on-one -on -one situations. To have that recognition to kind of stop what they're doing and continue the combo is very solid. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, here comes the grab. Are we going to see a pass? And you see the quickest forward air follow-up. Yeah. MK Leo, dude, still able to come back. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Very interesting situation because, honestly, even though he tossed MK Leo to the side, for Cosmos to get the follow-up. It looked like he wasn't really able to get much off of it. And here, we have, again, a lone tweak on the field. Right. And in a 2-on-1 situation versus these sword characters. What can he do? Oh, and he walks all the way Oh, he walks all the way up and gets the KO. Yeah, honestly, he had to go for that mix-up. But now, you know, he, he loses a little bit of his comeback factor unless he's able to actually put himself in a position. Oh, what? The, the target switching. Instead of comboing Ike, he does the forward tilt and gets Roy. This is Tweak is playing amazing. That was so sick. That okay. really was. Oh, oh, and okay. there's the forward tilt right there, just getting that KO. Yeah, there's and now, only, only so much you could do, man. Like he was playing out of his mind to get those those mix-ups. Oh my god. Okay. Going up, going up 2-0 in the set. Man. Shout out to my boy La Luna just. Letting me know that he got first seed in his ultimate pool, so shout out to him. You made it out winner's side? Oh! Damn, Let's boy. <laughs> Yo, show him that melee rock, man. You on camera, baby? Let's go. Show him that melee on every go. block. Oh, oh, let's go. Uh, melee rock on every block. Ding, 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 ding. 
Queen. A Millie Rock on every block. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go, Lalo. MK no? Leo and Javi here, man. Dude, just one more game. And they're going to actually take out Weekend Cosmos in the beginning of the top eight on loser side. That's a very solid win for them if they, they manage to do it. Yeah. Especially the 3 0 fashion. Not easy. Tweaks neutral airs with Wario are so solid. The way he gets the double hit and he drifts in and out, he covers so much of the stage. And it's such a really good tool that uh, Roy has, right? He's able to convert so much off of it. He can cross up with it, land in front of the opponent, behind the opponent, and when yeah. it connects, the damage, it, 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 you're just able to rack up so much. And yeah. here it is, though. Yeah, you can get like the double clap off of it with Wario. It's super solid. Dude, okay. it's, it, it's, it's so difficult, though, seeing the way that like, okay, okay, maybe oh, not, maybe oh, not. Oh. I was about to say it's so difficult to see the way Tweak is trying to keep up with these guys. Uh-huh. But they were able to just keep him out time and time again. Cosmos, though, he gets the knockdown right there. Back air, so it shows that he was maybe trying to pass to his teammate. Right. Oh, and the quick forward air off the, off the inkling from Wario. I like to own oh, the bike. The bike actually covering the roll option, too. Right. So that's very smart right there. Resourcefulness from... Tweak. Yeah, I like it. Using all, all the tools he's got. Oh my god, off the top. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, that that, that could have been scary. Four smash off Ike? Yeah, I thought he was actually going to land it too. Alright, you get oh ink. You get ink, gosh. my boy. So much ink. There's so much ink. That was 56%. Yes, man. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, Your boy got ink. <laughs> Big time. And look at that. Almost every hit now just does way more, dude. Right, the multiplier. You don't want to deal with that. Nah. Nice confirmation, too. Kaleo, so right there, he was in a position where he was like, all right, I might as well try to bring Cosmos down with me, you know? Right, yeah, that Aether will KO taking you down with him. Oh, nice parry. Okay. Right now, we have the yellow team again trying to assume positioning on the stage. No ink on the inkling, so that roller not going to hit its mark. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. There's, and he, there's not going to be in a, a position for him to get ink right now with two people on him. So inkling is kind of on the back foot right now. Trying to see if he can get a, a tiny little charge. And oh, there this you time, go. MK Leo with the weird throw follow-up. Probably right. a mistake. Right. But I like that. So it's like, okay... If Cosmos doesn't have any ink, you know what? What I'm going to do is not engage with them and try to just fight Tweak while Cosmos tries to charge. Yeah. And that gave them a little bit of time to like kind of edge guard and do a little bit more damage on Tweak. And they are... That actually worked out so well. It really did. They really understand the risk management. There comes a walk, though. Wow. And now, and now actually things change up a lot. Yeah. Because you see that walk connecting. And now Javi... Uh, uh, MKLeo is so close right now to not having a teammate helping him here. Oh, and in the one-on-one -on -one situations, Tweak just gets like 40% so quickly. Free. And you can see right now, because of this, MKLeo is going over time. Very smart by MKLeo. Right. Oh, he that was key. Getting a knockdown on a platform against a player like Tweak, especially when he was at high percent with his second-to-last stock, you want to pursue that. Right. Javi, though, the clutchness, forcing Tweak to be on his final stock. This is a good situation. And there it is. And he gets the up air kill off the top. And now they are prized to take this with a nice two on one. And they're getting the combos. Yeah, it's it's looking really, really good right now. Yeah. You know, the, 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 this, this, the share stock, I'll tell you right now what happened. When you saw the share stock, you know oh. what I saw? Tweak looking back at Cosmos the moment he realized he got KO'd. Right. And that he didn't have his final stock anymore. Right. That's really smart. To oh, and he gets the forward tilt, and that will do it. A solid 3-0 from him.